Hello and welcome to this presentation on the impel to tally integration. What we're going to be seeing in this presentation is how data moves across from impel to tally ERP9 or how data created in tally ERP9 gets synced with impel CRM. So we'll start off with looking at a couple of accounts that are in this system. Accounts are basically information about customers. So I have a couple of accounts here, one called Odell Network Systems and the other is called Kapoor Lighting Systems. These are accounts that I just created, so I know that they're not in tally, but let's just make sure of that in any case. So here we go, let's look at tally. And uh, this is the list of ledgers that are available in tally. and they're um, alphabetically sorted so you see that Odell Network Systems and Kapoor Lighting Systems are both not available here. So what I'm now going to do, let's just minimize this and we'll go to the, um, this is our Impel to Tally Sync tool. Um, I'm going to sync the data from Impel to Tally so let me click on sync here you see that it's starting up and when the sync happens the things that get synchronized are accounts products, um, also the invoices and orders that are in either system. So right now what we're doing is synchronizing from Impel to Tally. The same thing if I click on here, it will synchronize all the data from Tally to Impel. So it works both ways. While this is happening, let me quickly show you the settings here. This is the uh, username and password on Tally and uh, the name of the company that we are synchronizing with. Also the port number for Tally and so on. Now the process is already complete, but let me show you a couple of things here. We can also map what we call custom fields here. Also, you'll notice that we have something called an auto synchronization time. So this happens every 30 minutes. You can set that up to be whatever you want and uh, you can change that based on how your business works. So uh, you don't really need to run it the way that I'm running it right now. I'm doing this because I don't want to wait 30 minutes for the uh, sync to automatically start. But the other thing I want to point out is that you can actually uh, do some mapping of fields. So you can pick specific things that you want to uh, set up on tally and um, impel and map one to another for example you can take a uh, header and make it go to a particular category and so on so this is something that you can do to um, to uh, map custom fields that you might have on one or the other anyway i'm going to get out of this right now and let's go back and look at tally now again so we are going to go back and look at a display of the ledgers again and now you will see that Kapoor Lighting and Odell Network Systems are both have been synchronized from Impel into the tally system now let's look at the other way of how data will go from Impel from tally to impel what I'm going to do is show you how to create a, um, an invoice so let's go in here let me give this a, name, a reference number and let's pick an account I'm not going to enter any of this data so it shows you the address that's come over from impel in this case and I'm just going to go choose a product so this is a product I'm choosing okay I'm not going to give it an order number so I let me say I'm going to get about 15 units of this and I'm going to give them a discount of 20 percent so it's calculated the uh, price and everything so we're now going to go and just create this invoice so we've created that so if I go back in to tally and look at a display and look at the day book I will see that this in this particular invoice which is invoice number 13 has been created in tally so now what I'm going to do is to do the opposite of what we did bef the previous time and we are going to do a sync from tally to impel and we'll start the sync process so again what we're doing is it's connecting to the tally server it's connecting to the impel server and all of these things are set up in the background 
and it is synchronizing accounts it will synchronize products it will synchronize orders and invoices whatever from the last time that the sync has been done whatever new data is there or has been changed will get synchronized to the other system so um, the process is going through it will take the time for this depends upon how much data you have so once this is done and the process is finished we'll go across to impel and take a look at the uh, invoice that we just created which was invoice number 13 and make sure that that invoice is showing up on impel so the process itself is fairly simple it all happens in the background you don't have to really do anything on the front end excepting um, you know even accepting to choose which way you want the uh, data to get synchronized and in fact you can set up both of them to happen at the same time so that data from tally to impel and impel to tally so whatever has happened on one side or the other gets synchronized to the other system so that is now complete let us now go back I will synchronize I will just minimize the um, you know, the remote system come back in here and let's go and look at billing which is where all the invoices show up and I am just going to sort this by invoice number so here is invoice number 13 that I just created for our run jewelers so here's what you see you see the account you see when it was created this is the one I just created and you see the date and time the address everything comes over from the other system you see the product that I chose the quantity the list price and the extended amount so everything that you did on tally as far as the invoice was concerned has now been synchronized into impel the big advantage of this is that you now have the ability to get your people working on the systems that they know and that they use on a regular basis so your accounting guys continue to do stuff on tally and your sales guys continue to do things on impel but the data gets synchronized automatically and both of them have access to that data without having to do a dual entry of anything and having access to the data at the latest time that it has been updated so this is the big advantage of the impel to tally ERP integration so your information about tally is available in an impel and if an invoice or an order gets created on impel then that appears in tally as well so that's the beauty of the system thank you very much and do get back in touch with us if you have any questions or need anything answered